What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be finishing out the bed setup on my Tacoma with the Billy Bars. If you haven't seen the install video for the Billy Bars, go ahead and check that out. I'll link it up in the corner or in the description. So make sure to check that out before watching this video because we're going to be finishing out the full bed setup today. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be putting on the truck and we'll go ahead and get into it. All right, so just as a quick recap, I obviously have the Billy Bars on my truck that I installed in a previous video. So I went with the two bar setup, as you can see, one, two. I also went with one side molly panel right here. So this is going to be the non-rooftop tent side, obviously, because I don't want to be opening the rooftop tent and then not have access to this. So on this side as well, I added the bike tray. So I have the rear tire tray. I think it's called like the Whoopi rear tire tray here and then I have like an Amazon axle mount up front so we're going to be putting the bike on here as well as the rooftop tent today so my plan is to get the rooftop tent as far over as I can really um, and then hopefully have room for the bike over here and then the molly panel I'll probably be throwing a shovel or whatever else I can fit on there so let's go ahead and get right into it I'm going to go ahead and start with the rooftop tent Alright, so I forgot how small this tent actually is. As you can see here, I have more than enough room to be able to throw a bike on here. The tent, you know, even on this end still has a solid like six to eight, maybe more inches here for room on this side if I even wanted to throw another bike. So that would be kind of interesting to do if I was able to throw a bike on each side, but I don't really need to at the moment, hence the, uh, the one mount here. But if you guys do have two bikes, you'll definitely have enough room if you have a tent that's not too wide. Like this is probably one of the smallest, if not the smallest tents on the market. So if you have a bigger tent that's a little bit wider, it might not fit as well, but this gives you a good idea of what it's gonna be like. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this bolted down and then I'll get the bike thrown up and the other stuff as well. All right, so a little bit of drama here. Uh, the billy bars here are a little bit too beefy for the bolts that come with the rooftop tent. So I'm going to have to make a quick trip to Lowe's or Home Depot and try to get some longer bolts that'll work so that I can mount the tent. So unfortunately, I got to take this off, get a little bit of an extra workout in, and then I'm going to go get some new bolts and hopefully we can still get it installed today. But I'm going to go ahead and go do that now. All right, so I got some longer bolts here from the... Uh, homey depot so we're gonna go ahead and put it back on i already got the tent back up so i just need to slide these guys in with the longer bolts and then hopefully we should be good for mounting it All right, so as you just saw, got the tent all set up. I also, off camera, put the, uh, the bed cover back over. Essentially what I had to do was literally pull out this end all the way up the length of the bed here, and then kind of do like a little loop here and then snake it through. I couldn't unroll it because I don't have that much clearance between these longer bolts and the actual uh, bed side. So, I basically had to unravel it completely and then snake it through and it, it wasn't too bad honestly but just a little bit annoying probably something i won't do too too often but if i do need to open up the bed 
I can do that for whatever reason. But yeah, as you can see here, totally uh, locked down secure. If I push it, nothing's happening. So that thing's not going anywhere. So now we're gonna go ahead and put the bike on the side here just to see how it kind of looks. I'm obviously not going biking right now, but I think I do need to pull the truck out of the garage because it's a little bit low clearance up there. And I think the bike will sit up pretty tall here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the truck out of the garage and then we'll get the bike mounted up. All right guys, so there you have it. That's the bed setup. Honestly, I'm loving the look of it so far. I didn't end up putting anything on the molly panel just yet. I haven't fully decided what I wanna throw up there, so we'll uh, wait on that for now. But overall, I think it looks great. I just drove around with it. The bike is pretty solid on there. I don't think it's going anywhere, especially with the uh, strap in the back and then tightening that down fully. So overall, super pumped with this setup. I think it looks great. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Drop a comment below. All right guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you have any questions about the new bed setup with the Billy Bars, drop a comment below, let me know, I'll get back to you. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one.